We're going to highlight one of Nighthawk's best features, which is moving Zek from a transparent address to a shielded address in the wallet. As the wallet finishes downloading, we're going to be brought to a screen that asks if we want to shield the Zek now or do it later. This is a great UI that can have you automatically shield your Zek, but for this example, we're just going to go through the entire process. So we're going to move to the home screen, and then we're going to click the small group of text that tells us how much Zek we have available. So as you can see, we have a couple Zek in our transparent wallet that we need to move over to our shielded wallet. All you need to do to do that is click Shield Transparent Funds. After you do that, the wallet is going to let you know that it is shielding your Zek. To see what that looks like, you'll move back to the home screen, and at the bottom of the home screen, you'll click Wallet History. When you click into that, you'll see the latest transaction is moving the transparent Zek into your shielded address. As we're viewing the transaction details, you can see that we paid a small network fee to shield our Zek. And as we can see in the home screen, our wallet is now expecting two Zek from the transaction we just ran. As we refresh the wallet, we can now see that we have two Zek available. When you click into that small group of text, the balance screen now shows that the two Zek that we had in our transparent wallet has moved over to our shielded address. Shielding Zek is a great feature if you can only receive Zek from a transparent address, for example, when you withdraw from Coinbase. Nighthawk is a great wallet to do this because they have a receiving transparent address that you can receive Zek at and then move it into your shielded wallet. If you want to download the Nighthawk wallet, there's a video to do that with a link in the description.